My next question is for Mr. Overfelt. Um, I have been trying to take on with some of my colleagues the outrageous amounts of money spent on military uh, defense. And, and it seems like this, this increasing spending on war and military defense is often seen as something you cannot even challenge. And that if you challenge it, you are somehow unpatriotic. Mr. Overfelt, you are a patriot, a true patriot, who has actually put your life on the line and served in the military yourself. Many of the people who advocate for increased defense spending have not done that. So can you tell me how we should respond to the charge that it is somehow unpatriotic to try to cut our spending on military defense and endless wars in order to have a better world, but yes, also to transfer some of those funds to the things that we really need to have a safe and secure nation and world. Well, I flew in here from Kansas City, and when I flew in, I, we flew, I could see the Pentagon out the window, and then I saw right next to the Pentagon, I saw a building with the name Boeing on it. Right next to that, I saw a building with the name Lockheed Martin on it. These, uh, these um, entities are go hand in glove. Um, the Pentagon acts as a siphon towards military contractors, a siphon of taxpayer money that could be used to help us in our communities. I want to say that when we talk about American foreign policy, we need to understand the context in which it operates, which is the flow of resources from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere. That is not to keep us safe. That is in the national interests of corporations, of transnational corporations, and to ensure their profits. So we are spending taxpayer money to subsidize transnational corporations, not to keep the American people safe. 